Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to uh, Tales of Asperia. Uh, so I ended up running back to town real fast, and I should probably uh, use that just to heal up a little bit. Um, and they actually had new things to make uh, synthesize, so I did so. So from the uh, Knight Sword, I think it was, uh, I ended up getting Tsurugi. Replica of an ancient double-edged sword. Don't underestimate the uh, damage it can inflict. And that gave me strength and swords up, which I've already learned on the way back. Um, may mean that I don't have anything left to get. Nope, I got an ogre axe. Item thrower and axes up. Let's go ahead and equip that. <clears throat> Magic attack and agility will go down, but we got new things to learn. Single-handed axe with the power of a fierce beast. The spirit of an ancient warrior has inherited it in the axe. Didn't get any of those, didn't get anything there, didn't get anything there. Uh, there were there were new things that I couldn't make, I didn't have enough uh, uh, resources, so... Uh, you don't actually have anything new, Carol, so... That's that. All right, you've almost gotten anti-break, uh, at which point we can switch over to the Gladius plus one for stun magic and auto medicine, or the Morning Star plus one for roll and endure. We'll see about that. Uh, you were working on the Leather Whip plus one, and when you're done with that, we can get you Sash plus one, um... You know, I might equip that and pull Repeat in, put you out for a little while. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, she also had a new second sub-weapon, which is the second sub-item that we've seen uh, after Estelle's that we can't get yet. Uh, Hydronomos, which does increase uh, physical attack and magic attack, decreases agility by a fair bit. A report on the location of the Sacred Temple of Water. It is written in an incomprehensible manner, but it's good. It's got Happiness, Happiness 2, and Happiness 3. No idea what those do. And let's see... And they had uh, Tamahagane plus 2 Alpha. There's two different types, so um, he is working on this one. The other one has Strength, Taunt, and Life Healer. And then we have the Kotaro plus one for XP share and rise attack. So let's go ahead and pop you out for a bit. On the other hand, uh, it doesn't matter that much for her magic, but, I mean, Rapide can do some stealing. Uh, I did get a couple new titles for people. Like Skilled Swordsman I got. Yeah, that looks right. One who cuts through his enemies like the wind. You're on your way. Um, determined fighter. Uh, I can do it if I put my mind to it. And... Cleric, I think? Yeah. She got cleric, and not just a pretty face. Her majestic presence can measure up to any knight on the battlefield. I don't think you got anything. No. And you got Grand Mage. Even if they do call you strange, you still stand proud in the path in search of truth. In the path in the search of truth. So, yay, I guess. <laughs> um, that's really about it. Let me see. Did anyone get any new skills? You did not. Uh, yeah, you got Lightning Wave, which is fire and wind. Which is actually going to be really useful around here. It's pretty expensive. Uh, send forth a wave of lightning with your weapon. I don't think you got anything new. You haven't gotten anything new. You haven't gotten anything new. So. It's still nice. Anyway. Let's go ahead and check this. Oh, it's working. So that was the activation device after all. Then hurry up and... Hey, don't hit him! Hold your horses. 
But you don't have to hit him over it. This is just like in the Shikos ruins. If you don't fill up the core with air, it won't work. So I have to use my ring to hit it. Ah, oh, so I should use the sorcerer's ring. Right. There we go. Alright, what does this do? Oh, that looks like it might hurt me. Let's move to the right. Whee! Okay. So, that's weird. What about move to the left? Okay. Not exactly a very effective thing. But we'll move forward. Which does get us up here. Which we kind of wanted to do, but we can't go there. Hello, birdies. Man, could you be any weaker? You're you're welcome to steal things, Repeat. I did switch us over to save TP. Just for the uh short term. Get your butt back here, you silly bird. There we go. Chicken and a uh, small bird feather. Anything back here? No. Well, that's kind of disappointing. All right, fine. We'll fight you. Oh man! All right, all right. How are these bats anyway? I mean, they're clearly uh, animated umbrellas. Potatoes. And you've got an anti-break. You've got spirits, taunt too. Uh, let's actually take a look at some of the skills that we've picked up. Uh, so you've gotten strength and uh, swords up. Increases physical attack when the sword is equipped. Um, yeah, I'm not going to use that. Let's get strength. We're working on item thrower. Taunt with uh, L3 to fill the overlimit gauge. I mean, we got two points, so we might as well use that. Um, and I'm pretty happy with what you got right now, so I'd like to get strength equipped, but... Uh, you got defend on your weapon, but you just got a few things, so I'm not going to take that off yet. Well, I guess we can. Item thrower is super expensive. I don't have enough for spirits. Increases max TP by 20. Let's go with that, and... I'll give you back step. Got Taunt 2. Working on Spirit Healer. Increases TP recovered after battle. That's really, really nice. Increases max TP by 20. You don't have enough for magic. Alright, we'll just leave you as is. Uh, let's see. Uh, happiness occasionally increases XP earned only for characters with this skill set. Occasionally increases LP earned only for characters with this skill set. And occasionally increases the amount of gold after battle. Those sound pretty nice. Yeah, I don't have anything to uh, do with you. Alright, Gladius for... Stun magic and auto medicine, sure. Still working on spirit healer. Working on all that. Alright. 
Stun magic increases chance of stunning an enemy with a spell attack. That's eh, not bad. Um, I think that I would rather have Spirits and Vitality on her than some of the other things. Occasionally casts healing spells upon receiving damage. Not sure how that will work. Reduces the chance of guard break. Okay, there's a lot more skills than I can actually use right now by far. Hello! You're kind of in the way. Ice ball. Tobiki and water. I think that's one of the things that I really needed. Alright, we can go in here. I, th I see a thing on the uh, second floor that uh, I might be able to use. Hello? A limit bottle. Fills the over limit gauge fully once. Can only be used during battles. Got three magic lenses. Yeah, I'll just pick them up. Well, hello. Save point. Might as well save it, right? Now, the fact that there's a save point makes me think that maybe we shouldn't be uh, coming down here just yet. Let me see. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's not go down there just yet. Save point tells me, you know, it makes me think uh, boss battle or story event up ahead. Maybe go the other way first. Apple gel, we'll take that. Hello. A cocktail dress. Well, that's one of the new things that I could uh, uh, fabricate. Colorful garment, not suitable for combat, but not bad as a piece of regular clothing. And yet she's going to wear it. It is better. King-sized belt, a belt of unbelievable size. Applying air makes it even larger. Uh, magic Guard Plus. Interesting. Let's go ahead and leave. Let's go to the left, see where that takes us. Uh, more left than I was expecting. How do I get back? Okay. Right, let's see where the uh, the right takes us before we uh, go left. Just in case one goes to uh, treasure goodies or something like that. Get get around get around there, Estelle. Thank you. Right? Ah, okay. Well, at least now we know, right? And knowing is half the battle. The other half is getting someone else to do it for you. Okay, back to the left. objects. Okay, there's another one up there. How did you get into the battle with me? I think you cheated. Cheaters! So one of my goals is to make sure that I... that Rita gets her new stuff before, um... Uh, 
uh, we go into a uh, boss fight. So I don't forget and accidentally leave her with that thing that does one point of damage. Uh, no, let's not pick up the apple gel, because we can just use an apple gel. Thank you. What do we have in here? Anything? 1,000 gold. Very nice. It's a good thing that the people in this town used the same money that we did. Sorry. I see you, Charger Trust. Ooh, ooh, what? Password clue two. A research note found in Karabokram. Uh, the word sky is written on it. Anything there? Nope. All right. Uh, purple ribbon. This is another thing that we could uh, synthesize. A ribbon. A purple ribbon infused with defense properties. Uh, magic defense goes up by a fair bit. Physical defense goes down by a fair bit. Yeah, I think we'll stick with the physical defense. It seems more likely to be hitting us in combat. But I will take it. Always a fan of getting treasures. Alright, let's not go in there yet. Hello. We have a great opening now. All right, let's go. Destroy your headshot. You're going to steal anything there? Repeat. You want revenge? Bring it. I'm not sure that he stole anything. Got a potato, gel base. And he is a dog knight. So it looks like the Blood Alliance. How can we tell? Isn't here after all. Oh. And isn't that a Gattuso? Those guys are the hunting blades. Th that man. We saw him in Dadon Hold. Ah, now that you mention it, we did see him. So he's the leader of your guild then. We also saw Nan. He's gonna fight that monster all by himself? He's got a lot of. He's got a pretty big party with him. They're not opening the treasure chest. What? No way, man! You get the feeling that they put the uh, Gattuso there just to uh, tease us, because it was literally the most powerful boss that we had faced, and pro possibly the most. the. the most difficult boss that uh, we'll face throughout most of the game. He took it out in one hit? That was a fatal strike! He's a cheater. A fatal strike? It's a crazy powerful technique that extremely skilled swordsmen can use. So what are you saying, Carol? Are, are, are you saying that, that Yuri sucks? I think you're saying that Yuri sucks. Huh, so how do you do it? How do you do it? How should I know? Fatal strike. A strong attack which throws your opponent off balance. I'm so glad that we have the walking dictionary with us. Followed by a single well-timed strike to finish the enemy. Is that something else you read in a book? Y yes, it is. I see. It sounds like it's easier said than done. No. You really want to get back into your guild, don't you? What makes you say that? Eh, we're better than that crummy, crummy old guild anyway. Oh. Carol, are you going to go back to that guild? I won't go back. I'm sick and tired of monster hunting. Wait, so why are you with us? Won't go back or can't go back. It sounded like you were fired. No way! I'd been planning on leaving for a while. Not exactly sure that's the case, Carol. Uh, is that so? Well, no matter then. So, uh, let's get going. Yeah, besides, you're with us now. Well, I'm glad better. you're staying with us, Carol. Anyway, what do you think they're doing with such a large contingent? Yeah, if they wanted to take out that monster we saw, one person would have been enough. Would it, though? I mean, we did fight it. 
This is actually the first time I've ever seen this many guild members gathered in one place. Really? Yeah. A lot of the members are loners. They tend not to travel in groups. And the chief being here is out of the ordinary, too. Curiouser and curiouser. You wanna... follow them and see what they're up to? That sounds like a perfect plan. Nah, uh, that sounds interesting, but I'm gonna keep going. Poop. He's looking for members of the Blood Alliance, after all. Right, Yuri? Yeah, I don't want to worry about two guilds. One is more than enough. Yeah, but they might be working together. Or connected in some way. Alright, so it looks like we can go across there. What attacked me? Where the hell did I you come try from? To do that thing. That thing? That fatal strike thing. You can't just imitate what you saw and hope it'll work. Hey, I won't know if I can until I try. How did it go again? Uh, uh, first, you go and attack the enemy to throw it off balance. Alrighty. Alrighty? Ah! Add an attack and prepare for this fatal strike. Okay. I see it. Huh? See what? I see my opening to attack. Well, that's good for you, because I sure don't. Press R2 to trigger a fatal strike. Uh huh. Okay. Yuri, that was amazing! Nah, uh, I was just copying what I saw. I didn't think it was the sort of thing you can just copy like that. Apparently it is for Yuri. Well, you need a little skill, but it's not really that hard. You think you could do it while watching me? No way! It takes a skilled swordsman to do something like that. And and he uses a hammer. I know that. But Carol, you're not as bad as you make yourself out to be. Of course, he's using an axe. I'm I'm not. You too, Estelle. But really? All right, let's go. I wonder if it would have been more interesting uh, if Rita was with us. The amount of XP, LP, as well as item drop rate increases when you defeat an enemy with Fatal Strike. Yeah. That was fun. Yuri, you're awesome! Alright, I'm not exactly sure how we do it. Carol failed to cook sandwich. Toad oil, long needle, poison bottle, syrup bottle. A new page has been added to the battle book. Well, let's go ahead and activate this thing. I don't know where those enemies came from. Um, let's not do that yet. It's still up here. I've not been this way. Hello. Holy Raven, a sickle said to lead lost souls to heaven. The three prints of legendary raven are marked on the blade as a symbol. Alright. That has dash and recover. It's actually not as good, uh, although agility goes up. Maybe we'll get a Holy Raven plus one or something. Uh, no, let's not pick up the orange gels just yet. Let's go ahead and use one. There we go. And up the ladder we go. Got a couple different uh, options on where to go right now. Can't really uh, look around with the camera, so I can't get a good feel for uh, whether any of them are particularly dead endy with uh, like treasures or something. Dang it! Sometimes I hate you, birds. What arts do I have? Server Strike, 
Alright, let's try that. Stolen orange gel. Okay, I'm just using up way too much TP trying that. I don't know exactly how you do it. Oops, forgot to make the uh, right one. Alright, cooked that. There we go. Alright, let's go to the battle book. Fatal Strike on boss enemies. Unlike using Fatal Strikes on regular enemies, boss enemies cannot be defeated in a single blow with a Fatal Strike. It only will result in a large amount of damage. Use FS Chains for boss battles instead. Alright, Fatal Strike 1. Magic Force Field glowing red, blue, or green will appear when you continuously attack an enemy during battle. If timed correctly, you can execute a Fatal Strike to defeat all regular enemies in a single blow with the R2. Try various methods to discover how to bring forth these magical force fields. You can receive a bonus at the end of each battle when you finish an enemy off with a fatal strike. There are three types of bonuses. XP bonus, LP bonus, item drop rate bonus. The type of bonus depends on the color of the force field and the enemy type. The color of the force field depends on the arts used for the fatal strike. Arts corresponding to the type of fatal strike is represented by an icon in the arts menu. Alright. Would it be reasonable to assume that uh, the red down arrow is XP, the blue up arrow is an LP bonus, and the green one is an item drop rate bonus? I don't know. Characters receive various effect change, uh, changes after a series of fatal strikes. This is known as an FS chain. E effects differ depending on the color of the force field at the time the chain ends. The strength of the effect also increases with the number of successful chains. Never actually going to be able to do this effectively. Uh, let's see. FS and enemy types. The following is dependent on the enemy type when using a fatal strike. Difficulty in triggering a red, blue, or green FS. The three types of bonuses. Human enemies... Okay, so does it... Yeah, okay, it does differ depending on the enemy type. Mm. All three types of FS are equally easy to trigger when used against human-type enemies. Blue is XP, red is LP, and green is drop rate. Beasts and magic types. Uh, green FS are easily triggered against beast type and magic type enemies, while red FS types are more difficult to trigger against these types of enemies. So, red is increase LP, blue is increase XP, green is drop rate. I don't think I really care about LP that much. XP also doesn't really matter that much, because I can just use those uh, uh, specials. On the other hand, the, the, the drop rate is pretty good. Uh, red FS are easily triggered against insect type and bird type enemies, while blue FS are more difficult to trigger. So red for these is drop rate, and blue is LP. That's fine with me. Blue FS are easy, more, are easily triggered against plant and aquatic type enemies, while green FS are more difficult to trigger. Uh, blue is increased drop rate again, red is increased XP, and green is LP. And inorganics and scales. All FS are difficult to trigger against inorganic and scale type enemies, however, FS bonuses are higher. Blue is increased XP, red is increased LP, and green is increased drop rate. I'm, I'm not really going to be doing this. Like, it's going to be more luck than anything else.
All right, I guess I'll fight you. Not sure if you have to use the uh, um, the arts or if just regular attacks will work. Resound, oh cry of victory! All right. I got a waterproof cloth, which I did need some of, and a sharp blade. All right, so I will want to fight those things for the waterproof cloths. What? Be careful, everyone! Get ready for anything. Well, I was not expecting that. I didn't recall that there were mimics in this thing. Huh. All right, well, that's a new uh, entry down at the bottom. Resistant to wind, weak against fire. Maybe it means, uh like, which direction you're holding. Ah! Ow! Don't do that. It's got a lot of hit points. We finished them off. I finished them off. Huh? Got a fake box fang. Learned axes up. Rita has learned half damage, quarter damage, and minimum damage. All right. 3,000 gold. No one's going to say anything about uh, the fake box enemy, huh? All right, so Sash plus one, we can uh, swap off. Magic Guard plus... is higher magic attack, but for now, we'll go for this for the uh, Magic Guard Plus, I think. Anything over here? No, not really. Alright, when we come back next time, we will continue uh, exploring through this town, fighting some more enemies, finding more items, hopefully not dealing with more uh, fake boxes, because uh, I don't like that. But we shall see. Anyway, that will all be next time. See you then, everyone.